Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to back up files to the cloud using Dropbox. First thing we're going to have to do is open up our browser and go to dropbox.com and sign up for a Dropbox account. As you can see, you just enter your details here and an email address and a password. Click that you agree to the Dropbox terms and conditions, but obviously you should read them first and click sign up for free. Download Dropbox to get started. Now Dropbox comes with an app which makes it easier to manage. So let's click download on that and we will place it inside our downloads folder. As you can see, this PC downloads. Click save. Now we'll open up our downloads folder. And run the Dropbox installer. User account control kicks in and asks us if we're sure. As always, double check things, but I double clicked on it, so in this case I'm definitely aware that I want it to run the program with administrative rights and to make changes to my system. Okay, the downloader has finished and installed. Dropbox has picked up on that. And what it's doing right now is it's putting some documentation in there to teach us how to use it. If I recall correctly. It's been a while since I've done this. Click open my Dropbox folder. Click get started. That gives you some slides to read on basically what Dropbox is and how you use it. Read these at your leisure. Click through until it says finished. It says computer is now linked to Dropbox down in the corner. Drop files in your Dropbox folder to automatically sync and back up online. So as you can see, we now have a Dropbox folder over here. And it's trying to sync at the moment, that's what that little blue and white icon reads. Or means rather. And there's the documentation I told you that actually came with it. So now we've got Dropbox installed, let's actually do something useful with it, right? So at the moment, I'll create a new folder, so I'll just go over to my Dropbox folder in Windows Explorer. I'll go to New, and then Folder, and I'll call this Thumbnails. Then I'll head over to my Documents folder, and then to my Thumbnails. Wow, they're big. View as a list. And basically, all of the ones with TN on it are thumbnails. Some of the others probably are too. I'm still trying to get a workflow built for IT snippets that's uh, a bit more professional looking. What you do is select all the files that you want and simply drag them over to the Dropbox folder, and you'll see it says copy to thumbnails. When I let the mouse go, We'll copy them in here and you can see that little icon I was talking about. At the moment these are not synced but that will change once they start to sync up. Hopefully sometime soon. Doesn't usually take too long. There we go. That's them all synced. So in order to access these you could literally download the Dropbox client on another system and enter your credentials that you use to sign up to Dropbox and it would create a Dropbox folder and download everything that was in it onto that system too. Another way of accessing it is if we go back here into Dropbox and log in, which it's done automatically for me. You can see that it's created the thumbnails folder and inside the thumbnails folder are all of the created thumbnails. So let's try something else. Let's add some more to it. I also sometimes use emoji. 
Let's go back to our documents folder. You can see there's some thumbnails in there as well, which could probably be moved across. And we go back into our thumbnails folder. And we have a tongue out emoji. We can move that across. If we go into the emoji folder, you can see that my tongue out emoji is now there. And if we go back to our Dropbox, you can see the emoji folder is created and the emoji is now inside. Now, you can also use the Dropbox app for Android and iOS. At the moment, I have no easy way to record that, so I'll have to follow up on this tutorial at some point in the future. But that's how you can back up your pictures or your videos or whatever to Dropbox. Dropbox gives you, I believe it's two gigabyte for free. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.